Welcome back to Quantum Code, I'm Martin. This is the ninth tutorial of the series dedicated to create an original 2D shutter game in Godot Engine. By the way, a link to the full playlist is in the description, so check it out. In this tutorial, we'll create a menu for the game, we'll add a sprite mask and trail effect thanks to the plugin I've published, and you'll learn how to change and load scenes. Without further ado, let's go straight into it. Back in Godot, first you want to check that you have the assets package updated, so you want to have version 3 or higher. If not, you need to download the new package, I link it in the description. Now let's create a new scene for the menu. It will be a user interface scene, and let's call it menu. We can save it right away under the scenes folder. Okay, so visually we will create two menu. Um, there will be the mask showing one menu under it. Okay, so visually we will have two menus and the mask will show uh, one of them under the other. So let's create the first menu. We'll add a child node. It will be a texture rect. For the texture, you want to go under images, menu, and drag and drop my BG. We need to resize it a little bit, so let's go in Rect, Scale, and set it at 0 0.75 and 0 0.75. Now let's call it um, Amai Background, and we'll duplicate it. And this time we'll drag and drop Amai Text, and we can, we can rename it Amai Text. Let's add a new node. This one will be a texture button. And under textures, you want to drag and drop play white.png. And let's call it my play. We can duplicate it. And this time my quit. And on the textures, you want to drag and drop quit white. Let's place those buttons like that. And we select we can select all the nodes and duplicate it. But this time uh, let's name them the threat. Now let's change the textures. So for the background, you want to select the thread background. For the text, the thread text. For the play button, it will be play red. And the textures. And for the quit button, it will be quit red. Okay, now we want to create our mask effect to show a part of the menu, the part on the mouse. There is a video on the channel explaining how you can create um, those kind of mask effects with the trail effect. So a link is in the description, you can check it out. But for now, I have published a plugin, so we can use it. You just go in assets lib, search for sprite mask, and there you have it. Just click on it, click on download, and then you can select install. Click install, and there you have it. Now you need to go in project, project settings, and under the plugins tab, you want to select active. Now we can go back to our scene and add a child node and search for sprite mask. Here it is. Click on it. For the size, let's set it to our screen size. So 
1920 and 1080. We want the mask to follow the mouse, so let's enable it and we want to show the trail effect. Now we can let the layers to show um, in this value. So for now it will have everything and show all our, our um, images which are all on this layer as you can see here. So it will show all of our images in this um, part, in the, in the mask part. In order to show um, the other uh, sprites, so the other images everywhere, we just select all the nodes which are from the AMI menu and we go in the visibility and we change the layer mask for the light. So let's just set it as this one. And as you can see, um, the mask is showing the those images on the on the mask part. And it is showing the rest everywhere. Now we can play the scene. And we have a nice effect where we have a background and another one we can see with the mouse. Let's improve it a little bit. We can add a script to the menu node. Let's create it. And on the ready function, you want to set input that set mouse mode and input that mouse mode hidden. So our mouse will not be visible in this scene. Now let's implement the buttons. Those buttons can actually be images as we will never click on it. We'll click on those ones which are on top. So let's select the thread play and under node you want to connect pressed to our menu script. And same for the thread quit. Let's connect it to our script. Now when we play we want to change the scene. One way to do it is to call get tree. And call the function change scene. And we want to change it to our world scene. And for the quit button, let's do get tree and call quit. Now let's test this. So if I click on play, as you can see, it loads our scene, but we cannot see the mouse. So we need to fix this. We can simply copy paste this in the play pressed and set mouse mode visible. Let's test this again. So if I hit play, everything is okay. We'll not create a game over panel, but when the player is dead, I think it is uh, okay to go back to the menu so you can play again. So let's go to the global script and under the update life function, we can test if the life is under zero or equal to zero. And in this case, we can call a return to menu function. Let's create it. We want to set back the ammo and life to maximum for the next game. So let's do ammo egal max ammo and life equals max life.
Then we'll load the menu scene um, in another way than we did it for the world scene. So let's create a new variable. Uh, let's call it menu and it will be equal to preload and we'll pass our menu scene. This one. And then we'll call um, get tree dot change scene to and we'll pass our menu as a parameter. This is the difference between change scene and change scene two. This one takes a packed scene, so we need to preload it. Now we can test it. So I hit play. And now we're back on the menu. And if I hit play again, as you can see, I have five lives and five ammo. This is all for this video. It is a little bit short, but if you want to learn how to create this trail and sprite mask effect, um, check out the video um, linked in the description. I recommend you to do it as it is an interesting thing to do. See you. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, uh, check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you get notified when the next video is out. Also, you can leave us any feedback or any question in the comment section, we will answer quickly. See you!